Hi, I'm Dr. Mark Pitstick at SoulProof.com. We're talking about first-hand experiences as ways of knowing that we are eternal souls and living that way, even amidst the, the challenges that are inescapable on Earth. We're talking about transformational breath work or various breathing practices as a way to center ourselves and to know and live this truth. And I had some wonderful experiences over the years teaching large groups of people or, or small groups uh, around the country this. I remember one 65-year-old woman who uh, did the breathing halfway through and then just curled up in a f fetal position the rest of the time, maybe for about 20 minutes, and was totally quiet. And afterwards, I went up one-on-one -on -one and was asking her what she experienced. And she said, during that time, she was visiting her departed loved ones. She said, now make no mistake about it. I'm not saying I was imagining it, picturing it. I was with them. I was visiting them. Her mother and father, her husband who had passed on, even beloved departed pets. And she felt that there was no doubt that she was indeed there with them, being in this different dimension as a result of the breath work. So profound work. Another a woman about 70 years old in South Carolina, Again, lots and lots of crying, talked with her afterwards, and she shared that her daughter had passed on the year before. That's something no parent ever wants to do, is bury their child. But she said that doing the breath work helped her accept that, helped her let it go, and realize there was a, a timeliness to her death. She said, you know, it's funny, before I thought that I was here to teach my daughter. <clears throat> and with this breathing experience, I realized she was an old soul. She was here to teach me, and when I learned enough, she could go back home. So keep your eyes open for breath work, powerful way. So here are some quotes about the importance of regular centering work. Pascal said, all man's miseries derive from not being able to sit quietly in a room alone. Pythagoras, learn to be silent. Let your quiet mind listen and absorb. John Doan, Wilt thou love God as he thee? Then digest, my soul, this wholesome meditation, how God, the Spirit, by angels waited on in heaven, doth his temple make in thy breast. And Rumi, the 13th century Sufi mystic, secretly we spoke, thou wise one in thee. I said, tell me the secrets of the world. He said, shh, let silence tell you the secrets of the world. So centering practice is very important. Another aspect of first-hand evidence is common sense. And knowing that we are eternal spiritual beings just makes common sense. You know, you heard it say, all men are created equal, all people are created equal. All you have to do is look around and see that's not true. Some people are beautiful, attractive, rich, well-educated, loving families, lots of material possessions. Another is the exact opposite abused horribly and, and the worst of conditions. So certainly there has to be some factor which levels the playing field and it's not in this one physical lifetime. So that suggests other factors, spiritual, non-physical factors going on. Here's a wonderful quote by uh, Chris Euler in her book, Go Toward the Light. Uh, she's talking about her son, Ben, who's nine years old, he contracted AIDS from a blood transfusion. He was a hemophiliac, and she's describing the, the moments after he passed on. Quote, the room was full of Ben. He was all around us everywhere, warm and loving. He was lingering for a moment to say goodbye, to tell us not to worry, that there wasn't anything to be afraid of, and never was. And here's the line. And you know that all that energy and love cannot just vanish without a trace. End quote common sense. So be sure to visit the website soulproof.com, learn this important information to help transform yourself self, and share it with others.